viewers, thanks for watching. I'm Michelle Fro, Senior Editor of Wind Power Engineering and Development Magazine, and we're at OEA's Wind Power 2018 in Chicago. Joining me, I have Marty Mills, who's the Regional Sales Manager for Maxwell's Technologies. Marty, thanks so much for your time today. Well, thank you, Michelle. Appreciate you having us and uh, giving us a chance to talk about our products. Absolutely. So today we are going to talk about ultracapacitors. Marty, can you share a little bit more information about the ultracapacitors and the product line that Maxwell carries? Ultracapacitors are really a, a really neat device. They're very power dense uh, devices, unlike batteries that are very energy dense. But what's neat about them is they're used in a lot of power delivery applications for automotive, for wind, also for hybrid electric buses, for a variety of applications, which makes it always interesting because we got so many markets. The wind market is actually one of the biggest markets that we're in for backup power for pitch control. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and how ultracapacitors can make a difference for the wind industry? Sure, what the ultracapacitors can do is they can operate from down to minus 40 degrees C up to plus 65 degrees C and they can last 15 years of life cycle. So what that does is what we provide is the backup power for the emergency pitch control system. If the turbine happens to lose power to the grid, you need to feather those blades into a neutral position. So that's what the ultracapacitors are doing, is providing that backup power to neutralize the pitch of the blades. When the power comes back up, ultra caps get charged back up, it's ready to go for the next event. Makes sense. And I know they've been useful in retrofits, is that correct? And how would that work? Right, I, primarily we're, we're installed in right now actually over 60,000 turbines from an wow. OEM perspective, primarily in Asia and, and Europe. But we've, we've seen a need in the North American market for a retrofit product. And that's what we're showing here at the show today is right. this uh, 54 volt system uh, for a GE 1.5 megawatt turbine that is retrofitable uh, into those turbines as we're getting more demand from OEMs. For sure. Um, so why would a wind farm owner uh, choose an ultra capacitor, say over a lead acid battery? Typically what a lot of owner operators are seeing right now is they're anywhere between two and four years of life, they're having to go up and replace a lot of batteries and chargers. Mm -hmm. With our product having a 15 year life cycle, it reduces a lot of the battery pitch related faults for having two technicians go up turbine to replace batteries and chargers. Plus you've got the temperature range that it can operate from minus 40 degrees to plus 65 degrees C, so we can operate in a variety of climates. So they're seeing a real big benefit from the reduced number of climbs for safety reasons. So their ROIs are paying off quite well. Pretty important reasons. Yes, <laughs> yep. So thanks for your insight today, Marty. Uh, if viewers would like to learn more, where can they go? First and foremost, Maxwell's website, maxwell.com. There's a variety of information of all the different markets that we're in besides wind, application notes and white papers to talk about specifically about wind turbines as well. That's great. Thanks for your time again, Marty. And thank you viewers for your attention. This is Michelle Froze for Wind Power Engineering and Development. Have a great day.